pretty mental. What is that thing? <laughs> I mean, there's some normal boards, <laughs> some not really normal. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, definitely interesting to see how these things are going to go. I thought that's what the stands were for. Welcome to the Shapers Edition, where we explore the tradition and innovation of the world of Irish surfboard shaping. Each surfer in this series was provided with a stat sheet, with only the surfer's height, weight and board dimensions. Each shaper was tasked with shaping this mystery surfer a board. The goal was to show what these boards would look like under Ireland's greatest professional surfer, Garouj McDaid. This is the Shapers Edition, Episode 1. Our journey began in Tremor, just a short six hour drive from Derry. It's here that we met up with Henry Murr from Attitude Surfboards, who is also featuring in Episode 2. Henry is responsible for the biggest stocking of surfboard blanks in the country. And it's here that we collect a blank for each shaper that's taken part in this series. After we collected all these blanks, the long journey began of hand delivering each blank to each shaper. Hi, my name is Garge McDaid, 26 years old from Sligo, Ireland. Uh, professional surfer, grew up surfing my whole life uh, in Strand Hill. My dad got me into it. He, he grew up in, Bundo in Ballyshannon in Rosnaula surfing when he was young. And yeah, kind of got us into it heaps when we were young during the summer and kind of from when I was 10, I just talked to it and loved it. My name is Baptiste. I shape under Endless Fin Surfboard. I mostly do twin fin longboards, single fin, any kind of fun boards. And yeah, I'm pretty much based in Bandorn, actually in Ballyshannon, but it's right beside it. I'm 25 years old and I started shaping three years ago, so I was 22. Um, just got into it by myself and slowly progressing and this is my new place. So I've made 89 boards. This is the last one I just made for myself actually. A wee treat for the new place celebration. So yeah, 89 boards and looking forward to do 100 boards now. This is my goal. So for the board I might do, I think I'm going to do a twin pin with four channels. The fins a bit further forward to keep like the looseness of the tail and then probably more refined rails to get a bit more on the rail and attack the lip a bit better and yeah the 20 will be a bit more hp than what i normally do i kind of guessed and i'm sorry for him i had to put him future plugs and not fcs2 but sorry geroid um yeah it's going to be future plugs for you so you're gonna have to get fins mate <laughs> I really like this one. It feels super good. Some pretty hectic channels. I like the outline, everything. the rails and stuff are real, feel good on that.
As soon as I left school, I was lucky enough to pick up some, some sponsors like Ripco, Monster to fully support and make it into a career for myself. So yeah, it's been, been a great few years since I left school and yeah, hopefully keep going, doing what I love as a job for the next, as, as long as I can. I don't know if you want to film it or not, but someone put a little logo on it that I gave me a clue of who it was. Oh, really? Like a, a, a secret message? Yeah. <laughs> uh, how, how, which board was it? I think it was this one. <laughs> I thought this was someone else's, but it's giving me... There's a little, little drawing on it that has, uh, yeah, trolling me a bit. It's got a little smiley face on it there. Don't know if that disqualifies it. I'm Stephen Devlin from Sweetboards. That stands for surfing. What else is there? Uh, I shape out of Lorne in Northern Ireland. So I've been shaping for about 12 years now. Uh, the first board I shaped was a wave ski. That's what I used to surf more. Uh, so I did that for myself and it turned out pretty good. My main business for 25 odd years now has been landscaping, so I just thought maybe shaping could be the wet weather and winter work that I've been looking for for years. So I basically just started shaping other boards for myself and for my friends. And I think I learned the process and learned the skills because in my whole career of being self-employed, I've always been building things, renovating houses, all sorts of work which is all self-taught. So making boards was just another thing that I had to work out. Uh, picked up loads from YouTube, online, all that kind of thing for the details. And really it just grew from there. I like shaping all sorts of boards, whether they're knee boards or finless boards like this, uh, quads, twin fins, wave skis, big wave guns, anything. I'm interested in all sorts of shaping and the overlap between different boards is really interesting, you know, how they can work. Like you can take elements from a wave ski that, and put that into a big wave board. So I think the more types of boards and the bigger range that you shape, you can learn more and put that into everything that you do. Uh, I don't really know how many boards I've shaped, but probably over the 12 years, about 200-ish. Do you ever have that day when you turn up and you just look at the waves and you think they are so bad and just turn around and go home? Well, I want to shape the sort of board that when you turn up and the waves are really, really bad, you get in and you can still have a brilliant surf on it. So I've shaped other boards that have been very good for poor waves in different ways, but this one is hopefully going to be even better and make the worst waves ever into actually really fun waves. Who do I think the pro is? I think the pro is G-Man. The thing doesn't weigh like ha half a kilo. Five, uh, five, one, 19, two and a quarter. I have no idea what this thing's supposed to do. So, it feels nice though. 
outline and everything seems super even on this board. It's pretty sick. Started out doing the local Irish contests and stuff around 10, 11, and then traveled with the Irish surf team when I was 12, 13, competed the Europeans for my first international contest. It was pretty scary and daunting. I, I think I came ninth or something at that Europeans under 14. And yeah, I've had some success. It's pretty hard slugging road, doing contests and competing all the time. I've, you have a good result one day. I've had like fourth place in junior contests in Europeans. I've had third places in QSs, fourth place in men's European uh, titles. And you get good results and then another few you get and uh, get knocked out first round. It's pretty difficult, but I suppose competitive drive keeps you going. And yeah, you're just constantly trying to go back and do better each competition. So yeah, it's pretty good. So I'm Sean Nicholas, uh, shape for Coded Surfboards, and I am originally from South Africa and based in Anastime in County Clare. I'm shaping 12 years and doing epoxies for about eight, eight of those 12 years. 
So I'm shaping 18 years now altogether from the first day I started. And uh, yeah, mainly make epoxy boards now. So I'd say I've probably made around about 1,000 surfboards, maybe a little bit less. So the board I'm going to shape for this is going to be an asymmetrical, I'd say. So it's 100% Garod Medade. How do you say his name? Garage. Garage? Hey, Garage McDade. Really? Yeah. You could be setting me up here, mate. You f***ing are setting me up now, aren't no. you? No! <laughs> it's Garage McDade. I thought it was Garode. Um, it's Garode, isn't it? I always said Garage. But then I have a northern accent. F***. Now you got to be spun now. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with Garoid, right? This thing is pretty <laughs> next level looking. ASIM, I've never surfed an ASIM before in my life. I've seen though, I was on a trip with William Bagliotti before and he had one and he was ripping on it, so yeah, hope. Hope I can, hope I can rip on it too. Hopefully, yeah. We'll try and see, see if we can serve that. I began surfing on my dad's knee boards, to be honest, it was a pretty good learning tool. They're short, wide and stable, so pretty good to start off on them. And as I progressed, uh, dad knew one of the local shapers up in Bundoran Valley, Shannon area, Mark McGuire. He uh, started shaping me boards and eventually started giving me some deals on boards and it was great being able to have a local shaper support me like that when I was young. I moved to Ireland in 2004. Um, we were living in just outside Dungarvan, had a little workshop down there. 
and stayed there for a couple of years. Moved to Limerick and worked in Tube Surf Shop and there for three years. Um, worked out of a garage um, just in Limerick. And then 2008, we moved here and I've been here ever since. I'm gonna shape something small. I'm gonna put the mystery surfer in his, out of his comfort zone. Um, probably some of Minnie Simmons inspired, but I don't know. It just depends how the mood takes me at the time. So I think the mystery pro, mystery pro is probably Garoud. So. Now, I don't know how these things are supposed to work. <laughs> I have seen one of the boys used to surf one of these at home and he actually used to rip on it, so uh, yeah, this thing is definitely something I've never surfed before in my life. Uh, I hope probably just be going straight. <laughs> it's probably like the knee boards I started surfing on to be honest. <laughs> Paul from Glide Surfboard said he was going to make a board that would challenge G-Man's surfing and that it did. Not everyone in this series is in as a competitor. There's so many different variables of things that can change in the board. Your, your rail thickness, your tail shape, everything can make a board feel completely different. Even like the slightest millimetre difference makes a big difference in the board. I've had board that have felt real thin, too small, of boards that felt too thick and sometimes you get a board and it's like just real stiff. You need to like change up your fins and stuff and uh yeah the even like the concaves in the in the bottom of the board make such a difference of how the board's gonna go, the speed, the way the water flows through it. So it's it's a uh, it's pretty hard to to nail a magic board, but they do come around every once in a while. And when you when you get them, you you try to keep them on ice for for important things. <laughs> shapers that have taken part. We currently have nine boards in front of you. So someone made two? Someone made two boards. Do you think you could pair them off? Nah, no idea. Because I feel like someone made a mad one. Unless it was like 